A lot more moisture in the air today compared to yesterday. You may notice that just a little humid for Denver standards outside. Still not that bad though. 83 degrees right now, getting near 90 in southern Colorado. We'll get close to 100 down south. We're going to top out in the mid to upper 80s or 5 to 10 degrees below where we were yesterday. Again, I'm reluctant to use the word cooler. Again, it's just not as hot. Satellite and radar together here. You can see the moisture streaming in from the west. That moisture should help to fuel just a couple of thunderstorms later on. There were some big storms over in Wisconsin. Wisconsin and Iowa earlier this morning. High pressure technically still in control of our weather, and that high is going to try to prevent these storms from developing. But at the same time, we've had a weak cold front move in, a June cold front. That's why temperatures are only dropping 5 to 10 degrees. But nevertheless, with this front uh, nearby, a couple of isolated storms developing through the afternoon, and there's a much better chance out on the eastern plains, east of Lyman, east of Fort Morgan, especially late evening, 7, 8, 9 p.m. I think we'll see at least a few thunderstorms out on the northeastern plains and some of those storms could be severe, especially where you see the yellow shaded area. Sterling up toward Julesburg, down through Holyoke, Akron, Ray, uh, Yuma, and then into Burlington and Kit Carson County. These areas here is where we're going to be on the lookout for large hail, damaging wind, and isolated tornado. Less likely in the green area, but still possible. Meanwhile, here in Denver, if we see any thunderstorm activity this afternoon, we're not expecting any of it to be severe. And by the way, that uh, severe weather outlook extends all the way over toward uh, Omaha and Des Moines, much of Wyoming under the threat for severe weather today as well. So putting everything together, your forecast 88 degrees or so this afternoon in Denver with a 20% chance for a thunderstorm. Tomorrow, 91, an even smaller chance for a late day storm. After that, Andrea, we're back to sunny, hot and dry as we wrap up the week and then go into the weekend. Early next week, we bring back a chance for a couple of showers or storms and temperatures won't be as hot. Highs in the 80s instead of the 90s early next week, but that even that's <laughs> above normal. I think it's safe to say, though, that summer is Yes, it's definitely here. It's 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 here in terms of the weather. Not here officially yet. Right. Summer solstice coming up on the 21st. All right.